Oh. What did Jeremy say? I want to know what the show's going to be about. He talked about the fourth episode of being in the holiday. Right? Oh, he said, oh, I thought we had to like, keep it a secret. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, we, we asked about it, obviously. Oh, dead sure. you know, like, you they tell us to keep all these secrets, and then how is it? Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm stoked about that. Can you tell your own words? Yeah, about the, about the car episode. Yeah. So there was a funny, it wasn't a funny movie at all, but did y'all see Locke, the movie with Tom Hardy, and mm -hmm. all of his place in the yeah. car? Yeah. I loved it. It was just like a big, long, he's driving, you know, across the state or something like that, and it all takes place in the car. And so the episode is called Baby, and the Impala, apparently, is going to be in every single shot in the episode. Or we're either in the Impala or out of the Impala. So it's this cool story that's told, like, we've done it before where, the ghost where the stories are told like with with cameras you know so you, it doesn't look so produced you know so one of the things that supernatural we're so blessed with a fandom and with a you know very inventive writers is that we can do all these sort of crazy strange things you know i played a soulless guy i played jared padalecki on supernatural <laughs> <laughs> so you know um so we're able to do these fun stories and tell these cool things and to really embrace our our, our you know, number three on the call sheet, the 67 Impala. So I'm stoked. Thrilled. That's awesome. Now, one of, so, one of the great things about Supernatural, obviously, it's the brotherly love. Yeah, yeah. Um, we haven't seen so much that love as a responsibility to each other for, you know, a season or two now. Are we going to be getting back to basics where they're saying, all right, you know what, you're my brother. We, we love yes, you. Yes, okay. yes. And that was, that's big for me. I am a brother. Jensen is a brother, too. But he also feels like my brother in real life. But, like, I have two sons that are brothers. Like, I, 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 for years, you know, one of the things that I really meshed with was this idea of these guys, it could be a guy and a girl, it could be a girl and a girl, it could be a guy and a guy, but fighting through all the shit in life with somebody by your side. Whether it's a band you love or a TV show, you know, but something to help you get through the day. And that something for Sam was Dean, and that something for Dean was Sam, and then they split apart for so long. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen this season. I mean, the darkness is pre-biblical, and we have no one to really turn to because no one really knows anything. But I know that Sam and Dean will be side by side. That's fucking cool. Yeah. And so many characters. Oh yeah! So oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's so awesome. very fun. Again, yeah. it's like it, much like Supernatural and the Always Keep Fighting campaign and the Hollywood Show. You kind of do something and you don't have any idea how cool it's going to be or what it's going to turn into, and then you see it, and you're like, oh, awesome. So. Uh, they're hilarious and super talented, and I hope I get to work with them again. Really yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so so many characters, actors, and actresses returned for season ten. Season eleven, anybody yeah. you're interested in seeing return, like maybe, maybe your wife? wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I was teasing to Jensen. Um, yeah, I was teasing to Jensen that I I was excited to get back to work so I could rest. Uh, because I spent, you know, yes. all of June like chasing around two little munchkins, and um, so if my wife was working, then God forbid the kids would have to come, and then we'd have to. So uh, I, I think she would love to come and do something small, but she she's outrageously supportive, and that she's like, you have a great thing, like I'm not gonna get like do it. I'll, I'll be a part whatever you want to do. Um, but in all honesty, I would love to see Mitch Pileggi come back. Gramps, I would love to see Chuck Shirley come back. Especially now that we're dealing with the darkness and it's pre-biblical and nobody really knows anything about it, I'd love to see God come back. Um, so those two guys for sure. I'd always love to see Richard Spade come back. If you don't yeah. could see the panel. No. 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 Heard about the hands yeah. today. I, yeah. yeah. I spent the I spent like the you first half yeah. crying. It was like my stomach hurts. <laughs> for laughing. So those guys. You know, and we have a great clan of friends that we kind of travel around with doing conventions. So any of those guys, we're all such yeah. good buddies. And oh, I'd always love to see Jeffrey Morgan come back. We kind of feel like your last day was that Mexican restaurant day that we all had yeah. way back when. That, <laughs> that was yeah. like your last hurrah, you and your wife. Oh yeah, with us. That's exactly basically. right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Um, very very true. <laughs> Thank, awesome. you Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Here. Oh, you got the candle. I have mine in my pocket. Who made this? You know? That was part of random app. I, I was just hand uh, over. I'll, I'll, I'll go on social media and try and find out who's in yeah, the I'd love the, I'd love the I know her name is Anna Distress. I'll pass you the information. Anna? Yeah. I teach high school. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank y'all. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. I don't want to. Woo! Yeah, um, I need to ask. Uh, 